camera is sort of the ultimate passport to get you into places that, that are unique and uh, amazing. Sometimes it's dangerous, we have to be very careful. We've pulled a lot of our correspondence out of stories. In a lot of cases, the stories that are the most important or that are affecting the world the most are in, you know, dangerous places, and, um, but those stories need to be told. There's machine gunners on every building along our route, which makes me a bit worried that they say that everything's under control. We have uh, over 5,000 contributors around the world. Um, we have 34 offices in over 30 countries. Every day we get about 400 stories coming in. I'd say what really sets us apart from other news shows is that we have a very strong foundation in not knowing what we're doing. There are a couple people who did go to journalism school on our staff, but I certainly didn't. Um, you know, Shane didn't, a lot of the other people I work with didn't. This is uh, Jungshan Park in the middle of Beijing, and this is where all the parents come to basically barter off their children. It's a little manic. Yeah, mm -hmm. This of any interest? No? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people are uh, kind of running off from me, like I'm, you know, I got visible stink lines. I was a fan of the magazine, and I got involved because uh, it made sense to get involved. Um, they were looking for a broader canvas to paint on. Americans are pretty inward looking. You know, I don't think they're aware of uh, what so much of the rest of the world looks like, especially the parts that are pretty sad, pretty desperate. And this show does an amazing job with their brave correspondence of going to the places that we really need to see. All we really ever want to do is tell good stories. We wanted to do that in the magazine, we wanted to do that online, we wanted to do that in TV and film. So we don't really care what the medium is. We're the sort of first platform agnostic uh, company out there. We believe that mobile, online, TV is all gonna merge very soon anyways. So, you know, we, we, we love all platforms. At the beginning, it probably felt like it was a risk, you know, to have a whole series on, on a channel as big as HBO where the stories are Congo, Liberia, Pakistan, uh, you know, Papua New Guinea, countries people couldn't even find on a map or, or you know, they have no idea what, what's happening in that country. And often in a foreign language, it, it probably felt to some people like a huge risk, but I think they're just disproving the, the sort of the mainstream media idea that people don't care about this stuff. Prevailing knowledge or the given was that American kids, A, don't watch TV anymore, B, really don't watch news and don't care about news, and C, really don't care about international news. So of course we did an international news show. In outside America and in America, I think people think that Americans are very inward looking. Um, and I think they're disproving that idea. I think, I think they're just showing there's a, a huge chunk of the American population has got an appetite for, for, for very difficult, tough, obscure foreign stories and really care about what's happening in those countries and they're quite happy to you know, have to put in a bit of work um, to try and understand these stories. They don't need it to, to have a celebrity attached or to have some kind of gimmick attached. You, know, you can just give it to them straight and, they'll, and they'll, they'll like it and appreciate it and keep on coming back for more as well. So this is the martyr wall here. These are all the people that have died during the revolution. I'm gonna go meet with the Black Bloc right now. They are a group that's been labeled as terrorists by the government. For us to come from online and not only do well on HBO, but also be honored by our peers and be nominated for an Emmy our first season to win this award in our second season. It's, I mean, it's in intensely not only gratifying, but it sort of justifies our whole existence as a company. It's, it, it's surprising and flattering. Um, at the same time, it's really good for um, our big headedness in terms of uh, kind of thumbing our nose at the DIY approach we've taken, but it feels good. It feels very good. To get to get an award like this just just makes you feel like actually you are having having some kind of wider wider impact and, it, and it's easy to feel like you're having none so um, yeah it, it's it's great to get an honor like, like this we'd like to thank the academy i mean 
it's a, it's a great honor and we are literally really humbled by it and, and really appreciative. And, um, you know, look, we're just going to keep trying to do the best we can possibly do.